Alright guys, it's me Stormcutter, so we're going to be breaking down this Splatoon 3 release date trailer today. We're going to be trying to break down everything possible, we're going to go over all the mechanics that we see on the specials, what we think is going to be like the baseline, what we think could be broken, what could be like patched, my personal thoughts on it, like we're just going to get right into it. So let's start the video. Alright. All right, right off the bat, right off the bat, this is amazing right here. So we see tags. So we see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight tags. So everyone has their own tag that displays their name, and then they have their own tag above it. So like cloaked out turf warriors, one inkless office drone. So I think this could be like related to gear. So like I guess like if you go into like the shop and you buy a certain like gear, or you like. You like to use certain gears or certain weapons. I think that's how you get these roles assigned to you. Or it could maybe like, okay, you did this in like a number mode or within like online modes. So like you can even buy stuff, you reach a certain level, you get certain ranks, you do certain challenges, and then you get these names to pick from. Or I wouldn't be surprised if you could totally pick from it, like you could write your own like little tag, but I don't think they're going to allow you to do that just yet. But this is really good. Also, the ID, the four numbers right here, like 2368, I think these are going to be like some important numbers for like, I guess, identifying your friends. So like you don't need to accept friend requests all the time, you can just like use this, like get into games with people to just identify them or just make it easier for people. I mean, this is a good addition, although the only, like, downside with it is probably, like, okay, it's kind of easy to remember, it's kind of easy to remember, but, like, how often we're going to use this, like, can we use this in, like, codes, to, like, to, like, make f rooms for people to join, like, people with these certain codes can join, like, can we do that, or you know, are we still going to have to add friends for people to join us, something we wanted to, like, touch on, but it's really good so far. I like this. Let me actually pause it one second and lower the volume. I'm gonna lower it to here. Alright, so once again, we're back to. No, no. Let me go back. We're back. Hopefully, this loads. The game's kind of slow for me. So, we could, we could do it here too. Um, right here. Dang it. Um. Alright, yeah. So, we have the sky, we have the sky spawning thing. We know the weapons are returning. We know we have splat charger, splat roller, nine, 50, no, this is not 96, this is 52 gal and, and the splat shot pro. We know that's returning, we have the sky thing. It's really good map, it's on the new E, E, E-Tail Valley. No, not E-Tail Valley, E-Tail Alley. It's the new map. Alright, so you can see the spawn points. So you can spawn, so you can go here. So from the things up here, you can jump down to here. So you can jump here, here, and here. You can also jump up here. So I guess you can go anywhere within this area right here. So from where my cursor is, from here to about here. And this is not inkable. So you can't get up here. I think this is a spawn area, and then all all this below is where people fight. So you can't technically get spawn. So you can't get spawn trapped down here. You can't get spawn trapped in here. Like you can still paint. Like you can still paint and throw bombs, which is a really good addition. It's not like you can just push all the way up to their spawn. Now this is just turf war. This could be you could push all the way up in like other rank modes, but. Hopefully it stays like this, where you can't get up into other people's spawns, so they still have a chance. Um. Let's go. I like the music. This is, um, the Seaside Clickbait one. So, I have to kind of pause this turn away, because my game is very slow. It's extraordinarily slow, as you can tell. Alright, so we have 96 Gal gameplay. Not too much to talk about here. So, besides, um, what's it called? 
Let me actually pause it. The size is special up here. Let me actually increase the quality. I don't like it being this bad. Um, is that gonna help? Alright, yeah, that's a lot better. So, the splash wall up here is our subs, so we know whatever subs we got up here. And we have our Killer Whale 5.0 Killer Whale 5 up here. So, later on in the video, it shows it how they show how it works. My goodness, this is so slow, bro. Yeah, I think it's the high quality that's making it mess up. Hold up. Yeah, we might have to actually go down to 720, unfortunately. Yeah, it's slightly better. Alright, let me go back. That's actually something I want to pinpoint on, like right here. So this sub up here, wait, no. So this sub, I don't know what this is, what marker this person is using, but they're using some sort of ability to mark the person on the other team. So looking up here, their sub is a, is a suction bomb. We know that, and they have the Trizuka as their special. So we know this. However, I'm really, really interested in seeing like, okay, so does every player have this ability so you can track over people on the other team? So I have to see this because you, because I think they throw something. Because that person isn't marked before. Yeah, it's kind of something like that along the lines of that. Okay, so here's some tries of good gameplay. It's a pretty simple one, two, three shots. It's really good. The map is also really open too. There's a lot of areas you can play from, like over here, up here, up here, even over here. It's a lot of areas you can go. I like this map design. It's not as claustrophobic as not claustrophobic. How do I say it? There's a lot more areas to go. It's not like Splatoon 2, where you're ba basically just fighting in the center of the map. In this. In this, I can see fights all over the map, except for where the people are spawning. I'm sorry for the lag, guys. Alright, so that is, um... That's the, um, shield deploy. I need to get a better pause on that. Yeah, so that's the shield deploy. But, if you're looking up here, at the shield deploy, the person deployed the shield... Beacons are, I think, are confirmed. We do know there's beacons in the game. I think this is a beacon right here. Which you can jump to. But we know, okay, the barrier, if shrinks over time, and it shrinks pretty quickly. It was very big just a moment ago, but now it's very small. So now I think this is probably going to be one of those, one of those, like, it's not going to be a panic special. It's definitely going to be one of those specials to, like, okay, let's place this down a hallway so we can't be shot. This can be used to, like, protect people on the tower. Although, how do I say it? This can be used to protect people using rain having the rainmaker who have power clams and who have and who are near tower so this can deflect shots but it only lasts for a little bit of time let's actually see how long it lasts is this is yeah it's gone i need to actually get rid of that how long does it last all right it starts at 157 right and it ends, yes, yeah, so it was basically like six seconds. How long it lasts for. Yeah, no splash harder. Alright, new that. Alright, this is a new special. This is a new special. I'm gonna talk about it once he starts acting. Alright, so. Pause it. This special sucks up ink. So, I think this special. I have to figure out what, 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 how many points do you need for it? If I can go back here. I think he already had it activated. I think, yeah, I think he already had it activated. But it's probably around 200 or 190. But like, as you can see here, he's sucking up the ink. And that ink is being funneled into his little poltergeist thing. And now he's charging up the shot. Which can one shot people. So I think so I think this is gonna be one of those specials where okay, it's mainly used to just prevent enemies from firing. 
it has a decent range so it can pick up stuff. Like it has like how is it? It doesn't have a charger range, I don't think, but it has like something like a a um a ninety six gal splash shot range. It has splash shot pro range. It has that amount of range so it can pull enemy ink directly into your blaster and then not into your blaster, into your sucking machine. It charges something up and then you use it and then you kapow dead. Now the now the actual shot is very is kind of slow, but it's very powerful. So it's kind of interesting. You might have to see if it has area damage or not, or if it can hit multiple targets at the same time. I will probably say it would, but we don't know that for sure. All right, that's the bow. So the bow has to be charged. So the bow has to be charged a certain way. So. I think there's, I think, at least two levels of charge. If I'm not mistaken, I did see, like, the demo version of this. I think there's three charges, but I think, at least in this trailer, we can confirm it's two. So, I could probably say this, the maximum charge one is a one-shot. And it's the one that shoots three things, three arrows. The, the, the first charge one is two, and no charge is zero. And, I, and it shoots vertically and it shoots horizontally, is what I already know about this weapon. So, I think this weapon will probably be used a lot early on, just because it's new. But I think it's probably going to be used, I think, because of the bullets. It's kind of fast. I don't think it's going to be used as much as Charger, but we have to see how broken it is once we actually get our hands on the game. Not like the actual, like, that game... Like when we get it, get the official release. I mean, like when we get our test fire sometime in the summer. back. All right. Octo brush with the zip caster. All right. So, a thing with the zip caster is every time, like just this is how it should be. Every time you fly from wall to wall, what happens? Is that your tank up here, up here, right up here, goes down. That's how it should be. But also, every time you fire and you shoot, it goes down a lot faster. So this is going to be one of those movement specials that get around, kill someone who's really annoying, like really quick, and get rid of like a backline, like a charger, a splatling, a jet sculpture, any weapon of long range. To get rid of them, and then you jump back to your little spawn area. So this could probably be used used by like it's used by Octobrush, which is a frontline ink, which is a frontline weapon, a slayer weapon. So this type of dude, so this type of um weapon can be so this type of special can be paired with this type of weapon and can allow it to not only move more than it normally would be able to, but it's also able to get rid of people all the back lines that are Stalling pushes because backlines a poor um I already lost my words, but backlines put pressure on slayer weapons that are in front. So slayer weapons have to play more awkwardly, so they can't play optimally. So when they can't play optimally, they're more likely to get splatted and they're less likely to be in good positions to help their team like get map control and push an objective. So I think this is not overpowered, but this is very useful. To like help, to like help teams push. It's not a displacement special like Tenta Missiles is, but it's a much more individualized special that helps with team play. As you can see, he jumps all the way back, and we're back here now. All right, Splatter Shot. Splatter Shot Pro has. Oh, crab tank. All right. So what we know is that the crab tank has a long range. It seems to have. I think that could be charger range. I'm not sure. That might be charger range. Maybe even not e leader. I think e leader will be like where that yellow is, like a lot further down there. But the crab tank has at least jet sculpture range, and it kills pretty quickly. I think that kills in about one second. And it also has a second firearm mode where it does the blast 
blast. And it lasts a good amount of time, too. It doesn't last too long, but it lasts a good, like, 10, 10, 12 seconds. You can also roll with it to move faster. And then it just disappears. Alright, I think that was, that guy tried to super jump in, but he got can't jump canceled. Yeah, so there's something, yeah, so that, that's what I'm talking about. There's that thing that they keep... Although it's not here. This, these are the bow shots, by the way. These explode over time. These freeze and explode over time. But, yeah, there's a thing that all of these, um... The, not all of them, but some of these players are throwing, like a new special up here. This might be like a flag grenade. That, not a flag grenade, I think it's like point sensor, but better. You can throw it, and then it hits someone, and then it marks them. It's not like, but, although point sensor had an area of effect. Although this seems to be a lot faster. Could be good. Could be good, it's very situational, but at least knowing where your enemy on the other enemies on the other team are, it's very good. <laughs> All right, so Kill World 5.1, it can move behind you. We just saw that it moves with you, so you can get in front of someone, splat them real quick, and you get it. You splat them real quick, and it's basically like a short range, and it moves to new opponents afterwards. I don't think it's gonna be too broken. Maybe close range, it will be very good at killing people, but I don't think it's going to be overpowered. It might be one of the lower tier specials, actually. But we don't actually know that. But we don't know. It could be. Although it could be very good. It's very, it's very iffy right now. We have to see, okay. We know at least most specials in this game are not easily spammable like they are in Splatoon 2. Because their special points are around 200. But... We consume. We can assume based on that through a 5.1, if all the things lock on, pretty much instant kill. But if if only like one of the lasers locks on, it might it won't be very good. We have to see how much damage it does in the actual in the actual game. But it seems good so far. That's a good deployment rate, right? and at least you can move with it. That's the most important thing. It's not like a stingray where you're actually stuck, where you're stuck with it. It moves a little bit with you, and then it targets somebody. All right, so this person right here is using triple ink strike. You can so you can throw the ink strikes. So so where you throw so where you throw the little torpedo like things when they hit land, you get that little scene from the sky, and then you get an ink strike there, and then it can one shot kill people. It's pretty good. And it's on the Slosher too, so Slosher stops Slap Bomb. Um, the bow has toxicness. I think the shield can be shot down. Although, we have to see more. I think it can. But yeah, that's what I'm talking about. The bow fires shots, and then it goes like that. Alright. Alright, there's the um, Squid Surge, and now there's Squid Roll. No, not the squid surge. This is squid roll. So squid roll, I think, makes you invulnerable for a little bit of time. So this, so the yellow, so the person on the yellow team, who I think is a splash shot. Yeah, the splash shot used it, but he didn't use it correctly, and now the person with the with the 52 gal is gonna get the kill. How the game is right now. But yeah, that killer world 5.0 does seem to be homing on opponents. We have to see. Yeah, like you see that, like you see that, let's go back, you see that, this is kind of old, this is kind of old, let's just get to the guy, alright, you have to be special, look at here, every time he fires, it goes down way faster, so if you fire your weapon, so if you fire your weapon screen much like that. But yeah, that that um that that um sucking special is gonna be I don't think it's gonna be broken, but it's definitely going to like suck up a lot of ink. It definitely has the range to like to like 
it doesn't have the range, like, it's not, like, I don't think it's going to be a weapon to, like, do a lot of counter pushing with. I think it's going to be a lot of, it's going to be a lot of deny map control, a deny paint kind of, kind of special. It's called, you suck up your enemy ink when they fire, and then you use that to make something to kill them instantly. But yeah, the, five, the Killer World 5.0, it does track his opponent, so we have to see how fast it does it. It looks like it does it pretty quickly, but not fast enough to get the slap. Some more killing later, and we're at the end of the trailer. So this is in spectator mode, so I think this is what it's going to look like. Judd has a new, has a new style. He's a little bit grayer. No, not gray. He's a little bit more yellow. All right. Yeah. So medals down here. We got another like one overall splatter. I think these are going to be like useful for like challenges or stuff. Or like, if you earn a certain amount of medals, you could possibly get um, a certain weapon or certain gear. I think this is a good addition because at least tells you what you did good on your team. I guess also with the stats on the other side is also pretty good. The music is great. The new now, the now and never remix is also good. Although my volume isn't high enough for you guys to hear it too well. But I think this is actually a pretty good. It's a pretty good trailer. Yeah, new new victory poses. And here we go, boys. Here we go. Incoming. Splatoon 3 available 9922. So September 9th, 2022, which is a Friday. You can see the girl with the bow, the octoling with the 52 gal or the 96. It's hard to tell. I think the 96 is a lot bigger than this. Range Blaster, Octo Boy in the back. And we have Dynamo. And we're on on the new map. Our little squid boy down here. And our squid squid jumping or super jumping up here. So I think this is gonna be a pretty good game. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um there might be some things I still miss. We're gonna might have to go through go through this video several times. I think this is a pretty good good ending for the video. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. This is my thoughts on the new Splatoon 3 trailer. I will be trying to pick up this game at least day one, or at least pre-order it, so I don't have to actually get it in the store. But if there's a test fire, I'm going to try and get that. I'm going to see, gonna see it, and see how I can get to the test fire, get some gameplay out for you guys. Might need to find out how I can stream this, because my Wi-Fi in my room isn't too good, so I'm up here recording. But anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and just leave a like and subscribe. And I'll like keep updates on this as time goes on. So, that's it for me. So, other YouTubers who could probably have their analysis on this, I think Kotar is going to do his analysis tomorrow. So, go check him out for his analysis. He's going to do like a full breakdown analysis. Probably going to be a lot longer than this video. Although, I don't know how long this video actually is. You guys will have to tell me because... I'm on this screen. I can't tell. But anyway, guys, it's been a good day. I might record something else before the day is out. But peace out.